there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here. Welcome to my channel where I review books and bookish things. Typically I upload on Thursdays and alternating Tuesdays, but this month, the month of October, I am doing the 13 spooky books of October. So um, I'm doing, on, in addition to my regular upload days, I've got some more sprinkled in throughout. Um, if you like what you see and you feel like sticking around, please consider subscribing and liking the video. So today's book that we are getting into is The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty. Um, let's get into it. So this book is written by William Peter Blatty, who also wrote the screenplay for the movie. The book came out in 1971. Um, it has a 4.2 on Goodreads. I give it a solid five stars. Um, the book was, how should I say this, unsettling, unnerving, and the ending was so satisfying. It was, it was a good ending. Um, the story itself is uh, inspired by a 1949 ca case of a real exorcism that was carried out on uh, one Ronald Doe um, by the Catholic Church. It lasted, I want to say it lasted three days. Um, in the story we have um, a woman who's an actress and she's filming a movie and like getting ready to direct and like meet out her dreams and her, she has a daughter, she's a single mom. Um, her, her ex-husband is somewhere else and her, her daughter is her world, is her life. And she, they're, they're atheists. They don't have a belief structure as such. Um, and the supernatural creeps in and takes hold in a terrifying, terrifying way. And the little girl who is, I want to say seven or eight in there. Uh, gets possessed. Reagan gets possessed and um, just vile, vile things coming from her mouth. She does lewd things. She does violent things. She does disgusting, horrifying, unsettling things, perversions. Um, at the same time, there are desecrations going on at a local church. Um, and in the beginning of the book, it's... So there are desecrations and implications that there are black masses being held at the church that's practically across the street. Um, they're in Georgetown, just that, just outside of DC filming. And um, a priest is called in, he's a psychiatrist and a priest, and he's called in to examine the girl and he's like, no, that's a, that's a demon. That's a demon. He finally figures out and he goes to the uh, head of the diocese, the archdiocese, and says, hey, I want to do an exorcism in the archdiocese. The archbishop bishop is like, no, you're not doing the exorcism. You don't have any experience in exorcisms. They're very hard on the person. They're very hard on the priest. They're very intensive. I'm going to get you uh, another priest, but you can assist. And the story progresses from there. That's that's the basic overview. So that, that's the plot of the book and of the movie. I, I won't spoil the ending. It's so good. I wasn't thinking I was going to like the ending in the book um, because I saw the movie when I was in middle school, probably 7th or 8th grade. Everybody in my class was obsessed with this book that time. I remember it was my algebra class. I don't remember if it was algebra 1 or algebra 2. I took algebra 1 7th grade, algebra 2 8th grade. Um, was just obsessed with The Exorcist that that fall. Like someone had like a party and like rented The Exorcist and they all watched it. Uh, all the cool kids, at least. I was not part of that. And they were like, oh, it's so terrifying, blah, blah, blah. And it, there's real demons, and it really, really happened. And I, I grew up in a big Catholic community. Um, and so a lot of people were like, yeah, and this could really happen. And um, I wonder if Father Joe would have to do an exorcism. And, all, and just hyping up the film, hyping and hyping and hyping and hyping it up. And so um, I convinced my mom to let me put it on the Netflix queue and it came in the mail because that's what Netflix did back in the day, not sponsored. And I put it in, I turned off the lights, I was ready to be terrified. And I was just bored. I was just so incredibly bored with 
everything in the movie. It just, it was not my cup of tea. The pacing wasn't the way I like my horror movies paced. I like a slow burn. I like a quick pace. When it's kind of in the middle, like the first movie is, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. I'd rather it be completely slow burn or completely fast pace, but not changing paces. That doesn't work for me in a movie. And so the the movie did not live up to the hype that was set up for it at all, whatsoever. Not even a little bit. So I came into reading the novel with not the best expectations. Like, I was like, eh, I'll, I'll read it. It's supposed to be terrifying. 13 spooky books. The book was on sale at the b- local bookstore. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to be disappointed. I was not disappointed. <laughs> this book exceeded my expectations which to be fair were low going in but it exceeded my wildest expectations um that being said the book is told in four parts plus a prologue and an epilogue so the prologue um feels almost esoteric it focuses on um the old priest that's brought in to perform the exorcism and then we have part one and part one is slow Like, I wouldn't even call part one a slow burn, because it doesn't even feel like we're ever going to get to the possession aspects. Like, at the end of part one is where the bed starts to shake. Like, that's the first time, like, we really get anything. Um, So, the parts are the beginning, the edge, the abyss, and um, then, and let my cry come unto thee, and then then the epilogue. And the edge was just so fast paced. I was just devouring page after page after page after page. The abyss, I was just, again, devouring the pages. I had to reread and let my cry come on to thee because I read it so fast I started skimming because I just had to know. I just had to know what was going on, what was happening, what was, what was going on in the book. And then I had to like consciously make the effort to slow it down as I was reading. That this book, like, it starts off very, very slow, very on the rails, very by the numbers. Yep, this, sure enough, this is going to be a horror novel, just so you know. Oh, spooky things are going to happen. There, there's there's ticking and there's rapping and there's the furniture moved. Like, it's 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 a little tropey. Um, I realized that this book came out in such a way that it essentially created the trope. So it's not tropey. Other things are tropey. But it it's it feels a little by the numbers from a modern reading. And then the train goes off the tracks and it just tumbles down the hill and sets on fire and blows up in the best possible way. Like, I, if you like horror novels, if you like your horror novels with a healthy dose of, um, with a healthy dose of the supernatural, this is the book for you. If you want to be scared out of your pants, like, boop your pants scared, this is the book for you. I haven't been so unsettled and, like, my my Fitbit buzzed because my heart rate got so fast. Like, I was so worked up reading this book. Like, I was sitting in a chair with a cat next to me, like, reading. I wasn't doing anything. I was just reading. I hadn't had caffeine yet. And my heart rate was was getting up there because it was just so fast paced and so exciting. So cannot recommend this book enough. If horror is your thing, this is the book for you. Like, I I just, it is, it just is. Have you read The Exorcist? Did you watch the first one? What did you think of it? Um, How do you feel, if you watched it when it first came out, if you're an older audience member and you watched it when it first came out, did it feel different when it first came out? Because it was, it was new for the genre. It was new. It was exciting. I understand that from a from a cinema point of view. Um, but let me know in the comments down below. There is a new one. It came out yesterday as of filming this, um, which is The Exorcist Believer, which I plan on going to see. Um, I'm trying to get someone to go with me because I hate going to the movies alone. Not because I get scared, but because I like to discuss films. So I'm trying to get someone to go with me. So we'll see. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!